local news, local weather, and local sports. On your side, Channel 2 News at 6 starts now. We have to remember, it's not just snow, it's the wind. Uh, we are expecting 65 mile per hour wind gusts throughout a very good portion of Erie County, including, unfortunately, coming right into the city of Buffalo. As we come to you at 6, a winter storm warning is in effect for west of New York, promising to bring with it significant snow and wind. Right now, a live look over the McKinley Monument at Niagara Square in downtown Buffalo, where the snow bands have shifted to the south, so it looks clear. But the winds are whipping and beyond what you can see in the dark are large waves being whipped up on Lake Erie. I'm Dave McKinley and what you're seeing right now is just the beginning. So here are the latest developments. Erie County is under a state of emergency and the New York National Guard has been deployed to assist during the storm. Starting at 9 p.m. there will be a travel ban for all of Erie County. Police say this will help keep roadways clear for emergencies and they will be ticketing violators. Genesee County has issued a travel advisory urging no unnecessary driving and the Bills game schedule for tomorrow has been postponed. We'll have further details on that in just a moment. Tonight we've got team coverage for you too. On your side's Keelan Berrien is standing by at the airport talking to travelers who've had to change their plans. But first, let's check in with Paul Hare for the latest on this storm. Paul? Hey Dave, yeah, all those bullet points that you just mentioned, they are there uh, for good reason. We do have the snow coming down already uh, and that band, that lake effect band is finally starting to sort of take shape like we usually see the lake effect band that coming over the lake and coming right into the Buffalo area and a little bit beyond. We have had a little bit of thunder snow in the last hour or so in the Buffalo area, very close to the lake and that could potentially be continuing throughout the night. As we move through this into uh, Saturday night and then Sunday, we're going to see kind of some scattered snow for a little bit, but then slowly as we move into the day on Sunday, that lake effect band is really going to become more organized, and that's when we're really going to be seeing the more intense snow totals, especially just south of Buffalo and the South Towns could be seeing two feet of snow when this is all said and done, possibly even a little bit more than that. So in terms of what to expect, two to four inches per hour could be happening tonight. The snow is going to continue through the day tomorrow where we're going to be seeing possibly one to three inches per hour. With the high winds, though, we could potentially be seeing blizzard like conditions around portions of western New York throughout the next day or two. And again, when we talk about snow drifts uh, because of the blowing snow, it's not going to be a uniform, let's say two feet of snow everywhere. You might see a snow drift that's higher, lower because obviously it is super windy and the snow pretty much just ends up wherever it ends up. But really, it's good that that driving ban is going into place because, of course, with whiteouts, driving would be nearly impossible in some areas. So just for everyone's safety, it's good that the highways will be closed because again, whiteout conditions possibly expected, especially in those hardest hit areas. Dave will have the full weather forecast coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Paul, one major development already is that the Bills playoff game with the Pittsburgh Steelers has been postponed. The NFL announced today that the game will not be played tomorrow, but instead has been rescheduled to kick off at 430 in the afternoon on Monday. It is a holiday. There will not be many people traveling. Sunday, we'll have the whole evening and the next afternoon, Monday, to clear the roads, make sure they're safe. With that game being moved to Monday, it will now fall on the 30th anniversary of the coldest game ever played by the Bills in Orchard Park. This is video footage from where that temperature was near zero with wind chills of 32 below when the Bills beat the Raiders in a playoff game on January 15, 1994 and route to their fourth straight Super Bowl. The rescheduled game with the Steelers on Monday will be played under bitter, although not quite as brutally cold conditions with temperatures in the teens and wind chills dipping into the single digits. With that change to the Bills game, the Buffalo Sabres have also decided to reschedule their Monday game to earlier in the day. The Sabres game at home against the San Jose Sharks will now be played at noon instead of 1 o'clock Monday. This to avoid uh, any conflicts with the Buffalo Bills game. In the city of Buffalo, Mayor Brown says people should get off the roads as soon as possible with that driving ban starting in less than three hours. There are more than two dozen city-owned lots where people will be allowed to park to keep the roads clear for plows. 
Brown also says crews have been salting streets since 8 o'clock this morning to get ready for the storm. We also, like Erie County, uh, have uh, retained private plowing contractors if needed. Uh, we will be able to uh, get into our main secondaries and residential streets once we begin getting hit with snow. There are nine warming shelters open right now in the city of Buffalo. Each shelter will provide cots, water, and ready-to-eat meals. You can find all the shelter locations as well as those available parking lots on our website, WGRZ.com. There are already numerous flight cancellations into and out of Buffalo, and that list is only expected to grow as the storm builds. We turn to our Keelan Berry, and he's live at the airport with more. Hi, Keelan. Good evening, Dave. Yeah, here at the Buffalo Niagara International Airport, you can just see behind me here is literally a ghost town. All you can hear is just the echoes from my voice. Well, follow me here to this flight board here. As you can clearly see, every flight has been canceled for today, so no one is coming in or going out of the city here, and which is becoming a big problem for residents in the area. But again, all flights coming in and out are canceled today and taking a look at runways, they're covered in snow and ice. Now, Ruth Goldman, a Buffalonian, contacted two on your side from Seattle, Washington. She's been there since the third, visiting her mom and family. And similar to everyone else, she's been stuck on the other side of the country since yesterday. Oh, sorry, since, you know, when she got there on the third. Uh, but fortunate for her, she's with her mom and at, and at her mom's condo. But she says it's not snowing in Seattle, but it's just abnormally cold. But to make matters worse, her mom's heat isn't heating the condo as it should. So they're walking around the place with just jackets and hoods on their heads. I was really bummed. I, I felt like yesterday was going to be the best day for travel. But but my flight, um, the leg of my flight out of Denver got canceled. So... Um, and I think it was because of the weather in Chicago. I think it was because the plane was coming to Denver from Chicago. Now, Ruth is going to test her luck on Monday, but again, she's worried that is going to be canceled also. She says she has her dog she wants to get to back at home with the sitter. Plus, she wants to get home as well, too, because of all the bad weather that we experienced this week. Now, Ruth says that she gave herself kind of like a four day window to try to get herself home. But again, like I said, she's going to try to again on Monday, but it's already Sunday. So, you know, that window is quickly closing. And at 11 o'clock, we can tell you a little bit more about how these passengers are feeling and the concerns that they have that if they're going to get in and out of this city. But on your side from the Buffalo Niagara International Airport, Keelan Berry in Channel 2 News. All right, Keelan, thank you very much. Of course, the weather is the big story of the day of the weekend, so let's get another update now from Paul Hare. Yeah, we have a bunch of warnings in place right now, and if you take a look at the satellite and radar, we do have this snow coming down around portions of western New York, and as I mentioned a few minutes ago, we do have that band that has finally started to organize a little bit, and it's really extending from Dunkirk up towards Buffalo all the way towards the Rochester area. If we zoom it in here, in the past hour or so, we have seen a bit of thunder snow as well, primarily within a few miles of the coast of uh, Lake Erie up uh, on the Ontario shoreline and also uh, on the U.S side as well. So what's going on? Big picture right here. The biggest thing right now is we have a winter storm warning that lasts until 7 a.m. on Sunday. That is for all the counties of western New York except Allegheny County, although that does not mean that Allegheny County is out of this. We're still expecting at least a little bit of snow there. So the heaviest lake effect snow really is in Erie County, Genesee and Wyoming counties where we could be expecting. Well, the official warning says one to two feet, but some models that we've seen could be expecting even more closer to uh, two feet, uh, two and a half feet, maybe even three feet in some local areas. Four to nine inches for Niagara and Orleans County, and then in the southern tier, eight to 16 inches expected there. Also, the wind has been a big part of this, so a high wind warning in place until 4 a.m. on Sunday. The higher winds are going to be on the northern section of our viewing area, gusts up to 65 miles per hour, gusts up to 60 miles an hour for the south towns in the southern tier. However, we're going to see sustained winds 30 to 40 miles an hour for all of us. Also, worth 
mentioning. We do have some wind advisories in northern Pennsylvania. That is just until 9 p.m. tonight. They're expecting 25 mile an hour winds with gusts up to 50 miles an hour, so certainly not as intense there. What else is going on? A lake shore flood warning until 4 a.m. Sunday. So this is for Niagara, Erie, Chautauqua counties. We expect along those shores, as we always do during events like this, rapidly rising water levels. Now this includes portions of Route 5. We always see that on the news uh, every time we have a weather event like this where we see those waves crashing up on shore. Also, portions of the upper Niagara River could be seen. Again, lake shore flooding. And also worth mentioning, this isn't going to be hugely impactful, but there is also a freezing spray warning along the coast here, Lake Erie. Of course, those are those spectacular pictures that we usually see during this time where we have that ice just encased on vehicles and houses. So that also is in place until uh, Sunday or excuse me, Monday at 7 p.m. That doesn't go into place until tomorrow, though. So future look shows what's continuing from here. We have some scattered snow showers around western New York right now, but in those bands where it's coming down, it is really coming down. It was literally a whiteout in downtown Buffalo just a short time ago. And now looking at some of our cameras over here, it looks crystal clear. So again, this could be changing very rapidly. So timing this out. So overnight tonight into tomorrow, we finally see that band shifting a little bit to the north. So as going as high as Niagara Falls, it should be coming back down a little bit as we move through the day on Sunday. Again, we do have a little bit of a scattered pattern at some points right here. But then as we fast forward, it's probably going to be Sunday afternoon that that band really intensifies and becomes organized and it's really just going to be sitting here. We're talking about Southern Erie County, just the northern part here of Chautauqua County, possibly just the upper edge of Cattaraugus County, but also moving into Wyoming County and it's going to just sit and it's going to sit and it's going to sit. And obviously, as we know, when we're talking about a lake effect ban like this, when it just sits there, we're talking about potentially massive amounts of snow. As I mentioned before, two to four inches per hour. And as we get through the day on Sunday, probably only about one to three inches an hour. I say only one to three inches an hour, but that is going to continue. Notice here by the time we get to overnight Sunday into Monday, those uh, the band really does start to uh, de-intensified, let's say. It's going to still be there. We're going to see a little bit of snow still coming down, but it does start to fizzle out. We finally have some of those clouds moving out as well, but it is continually going to linger at least a little bit. The snow event is not completely done, and in fact, we're going to continue to see some snow throughout the entire uh, seven-day forecast, unfortunately. So in terms of what snow totals we're expecting. The latest models have actually shown potentially a little bit more in the hardest hit area, which is just south of Buffalo towards Hamburg, Angola, Colden. That's really where we're going to be expecting the most. Shockingly, in portions of the southern tier, we're expecting quite a bit less. For the North Towns, Niagara Falls, and moving into Orleans County, six to eight inches or so. And as we move further inland here, particularly Allegheny County, that was not even part of the winter storm warning, possibly just an inch or two. The winds obviously have been a big part of this as well. So our future sustained winds. We're in the 30 mile an hour range for much of this as we move through the night and then for Sunday in the 25 or so mile an hour range for most of us, most of us. But the wind gusts are really what we're going to be talking about. We are close to 57, 61, or even a little bit more miles per hour in many areas. Fortunately, tonight is going to be the worst of it in terms of the wind. The whole week is going to be particularly breezy, but really we're talking about the most intense winds uh, right now. So as we fast forward midday uh, tomorrow or towards the evening, we still have those wind gusts, but closer to the 40 mile an hour range as we move into Monday, the 20, 30 mile an hour range or so, and those winds do continue, but certainly nothing as intense as we are right now. Obviously, with winter and winds, we're talking wind chill. So the current wind chill in Buffalo right now is 16 degrees. We're expecting the wind chill to be in the 10 degree range as we move through the night tonight. Tomorrow, we're talking about the single digits for wind chills. And as we move into Monday, possibly wind chills a little bit below zero, negative two, negative three or so. So again, it's going to be very, very chilly as we move forward here. So tonight, going down to about 28 degrees, the snow could potentially be heavy at times. White 
whiteouts possible. We have those wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour. Fast forwarding to Sunday, look at these temperatures. We are continually dropping in the temperature department throughout the entire day, starting your morning around 25 degrees and ultimately ending the day at around 16 degrees. It looks like in the afternoon that lake effect band becomes a little bit more organized and it's really going to sit there over southern Erie and northern Chautauqua County, moving into Wyoming County uh, as well. And then as we move into the evening, again, the snow does continue. It does start to ease up a little bit, but it is still going to be there. And then Monday is when this whole thing sort of wraps up. For Monday, we start really chilly, 14 degrees, and it gets a little bit warmer in the afternoon and then cools down to 16 degrees. So a very chilly couple of days ahead. We've been looking at the Bills game, which has now, of course, been moved to Monday, 4.30 p.m. kickoff. It is not going to be a pleasant game. The worst of it is going to be done on Sunday, which is good as far as this whole storm is uh, uh as we're considering that 19 degrees for the kickoff snow showers wind chill at the game five degrees. If you're going, you need to really, really bundle up. It is going to be a very long game if you're not dressed properly. So the seven day forecast here again, we have that wind continuing Sunday. We do have wind for pretty much the entire forecast, but I did not put those icons in here because it's going to be nothing like it is today and tomorrow. We do have those snow showers lingering. We have a little bit of lake effect snow that is going to be lingering throughout the entire week, and it looks like by the time we get closer to this upcoming weekend, we are looking at a larger synoptic system that could potentially be bringing a significant amount of snow. It's too early to make that official call. Uh, but again, this is not exactly the most pleasant forecast that we're thinking of here for winter, but we do have a chance of snow pretty much every day and wrapping up, of course, moving towards the weekend with more snow as well. I don't know, Dave, what do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> I think you got to get the snow shovels sharpened and the long underwear out and uh, it is January in Buffalo, New York. We want to thank you for joining us for this special streaming edition of Channel 2 News at 6. Storm Team 2 will continue to follow this storm for you all night long. And be sure and download the 2 on your side app to get the latest weather alerts, live radar, and your forecast. Stay safe, stay warm. We'll see you right back here at 11.